With ever-increasing device switching speeds comes the challenge of maintaining signal integrity as well as meeting signal timing requirements. By careful design of both PCB layer stack and routing widths, signal integrity can be managed through controlled impedance routing. However, the timing requirements are met by matching the routed lengths of signal paths. For a set of two-pin signals, calculating and comparing the lengths is a straightforward process. But this is not the case for many typical design solutions where there may be a series termination component in the signal path, or there are more than two pins in the signal. Altium Designer's X Signals feature enables the correct treatment of high-speed signal paths as just that, paths for signals to travel between source and destination, which can be through termination components as well as branches. X Signals can also be combined into classes to create design rules, such as length rule to ensure timing is met, and matched length rule to detect potential timing mismatches. In this design, there is a net class data, which contains signals with a series of termination components. Let's look at different ways of creating X signals for these nets. One method is by selecting pads between the transmitter and receiver, and selecting Create X signal from selected pins from the menu. The newly created X signal will be displayed in the X signal section of the PCB panel, as well as indicated by the connectivity line overlaid on top of the signal track. X signals can also be created using the context menu. First select the relevant pads and then using the right mouse button menu select create X signal from selected pins. The calculated length also takes into account the path along the wire to the layer to which the signal passes. For now we will delete these X signals. Altium Designer has a more comprehensive and versatile tool for creating X signals from a group of nets. From the Design X Signals menu, select the Create X Signals command. Here it is possible to select source and destination components as well as the net group for which to create X signals. The Analyze button, by default, starts searching for paths passing through one serial component, although it is possible to select other options if needed. After analysis, a list of created X signals will be displayed, and an option for creating an X signal class will appear. The new X signal class can be highlighted by selecting it in the PCB panel. It is also possible to create a design rule for the newly created X signal class. Select the X signal class and enter a value for the delay tolerance. Now using the design rule, we can even start tuning the net if required. Let's look at another example where X signals can be used. In high speed projects, it is not uncommon to find T branch connections. For example, an address bus where each signal goes from the controller to several memory chips through a branch connection. In this case, we'll use the wizard to create the X signals and choose the option Custom Multi-Component Interconnect. Next, we'll filter the source component using the min pin count and selecting D1. In the next step, let's filter the desired nets. For the destination components, we'll select D3 and D4. Now select Next to run the analysis, list of all generated X signals found will be shown in a table where they can be selected to view them on the board. These signals will also be placed in an X signal net class. In the next step, we'll be offered the opportunity to create a rule for matching net lengths for this X signal class. After checking the net name, rule name, and change the required tolerance as required, select Finish to complete the process. Let's look at the new X signal class in the PCB panel and check the generated X signals. Also, let's check the newly created design rule for net matching. Additional X signals can be added to the generated X signal class. We will first need to create a new X signal for the required net, and then from the class properties, we can transfer the signal to the X signal class. The length matching rule will be applied automatically to the new signal.